Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a flamethrower in Unity 3D. And this can be done in any version of Unity. And it's pretty simple to do. And pretty basic, because I like using particle effects and I think that it's a good way to achieve some things. And what I'm going to show you is creating a flamethrower with its particle effect, adding the sound, and then maybe setting stuff on fire. Depending on what you want to do with it, if you want to use it at all. So... All I've got in my scene is the first person controller, my main camera, I've got a flamethrower style sort of weapon that I modelled in about a minute in 3ds Max, imported that in and I've attached that to my main camera by just importing it, throwing it in the scene and just adding it on top of the main camera. Um, on top of that I've got my normal terrain with everything that you normally see. I've got one special thing which this time I've got it, it's called the Flame Collider and what it is is just a box collider so I just Im added a game object a cube and then took away the mesh renderer and just added it so it'd be just in front of the actual flamethrower and what I've done is added a rigid body and set it to is kin kinematic because it's not going to move and then I've created a tag on that called fire so you can create an add tag if you don't have that you open up your tags and create one called fire and just scale it down to however you want because we just want it to interact with stuff now I've got another particle I've got a particle now which is going to be the actual flames the flamethrower and that's from the simple particle pack and if you go in the resources and directional you'll find torch and what you can do if you want to import that, you can go window, asset store and find the simple particle pack. And you can change that up. And I've got both the flame collider and the torch attached to the, parented to the um, flamethrower. Which is then parented to the main camera. So it's all set up like that. I've got something else in my scene, just a box. It's got a box collider on it and it's set to is trigger. And I'll remove that script because we'll create that later. And then what I've got is an actual uh, particle effect on that, which is just the torch one as well. And we're going to use that a little bit later on. So first of all, we want to actually um, do something with the um, items. Because when you play the scene, you'll see that everything will just play as normal. But we want to actually do something and can be able to control it. So if we create a new script, call it JavaScript, and we call it this one, call it Flamethrower New. Because I already have a script called Flamethrower. And then if you load up Mono Develop, and when it's open, what you want to do is add a variable called Flamethrower and set that to type particle system with a semicolon. Then write a variable flames and set that to an audio clip we'll use that a bit later then you can write function start then your curly brackets then if you write flamethrower make sure you name it with the uppercase and lowercase from your variable dot emission rate equals 0.0f with a semicolon and then what we want to do is say game object dot find open brackets flame collider so this is what we named our flame collider so the, the box collider that we added and then we say get component collider so the collider actually on that dot enabled equals false so all we're doing at the minute is when we start we don't want the um, flame to appear on the gun we don't want the collider to be enabled on the actual flame itself because we're starting out and we're not pressing anything. Then if we write function update, then the two curly brackets. And if we write Im if input dot get mouse button open brackets zero close your two bracket. All this means is when we left click, we're going to do something. So we can say audio dot play one shot and then we can say flames then we can copy this same line up here that flame for emission type or emission rate is equal to 150 I'll set it to whatever you want 
and then we can say the same as here it's that we add the collider and we find the collider and we set that to true and then what we want to say is else and then open up the curly brackets audio dot stop and then we'll copy these two lines again paste them in because all we're saying is that if we're pressing the button play the audio have the actual particle effect start again find the collider set it to true and then if not we stop the sound we stop that and we turn the collider off what we could do is we save that out and what we can do is we can add this to any sort of component to our um, object so I'll just add this script to my main camera what you can see is I've got the particle effect here so what I can do set this to the torch particle and then I can add one of my sounds which is the fire and then when I play the game because I forgot to, I always forget is we need to actually add an audio source so component audio audio source if you don't do that it won't play and what we can do is you'll see that box already starts sets on fire and what we do nothing happens unless we click and when we click you hear, you hear the sound effect and you see the particle effect um, now that's all nice and basic but say you want to set something on fire so you want to actually make something do something so all I've got is got my box and I've got the actual particle effect parented to the box and what I've done is if you remember the box is the box collider is is set to is trigger and then what we want to do is want to actually create a new script so create a new javascript and call it something like flame box whatever you want and then we can open this up and then we can say variable set set on fire as a particle system and then we'll say function start function start with a capital put the curly brackets in and then set on fire dot stop so when, when we start the scene the fire doesn't play and then function on trigger enter open brackets and we'll put call as collider and then open up our brackets and if call dot tag is equal to fire then set on fire dot play so all that means is when the collider that enters the trigger that we're going to set so the box and it's tagged fire it will actually set that off so what we'll do is we'll click on the box that we've got with the collider we'll say add the flame box material I mean the script then add the particle system in there and what you've got to remember is the flame collider up here has got to be tagged as fire so now we'll start the scene and we'll walk over we can do some fire nothing happens but when we actually use that and click it you'll notice that that sets on fire so that's pretty much it in creating a, just a simple sort of flamethrower a a fl a flamethrow effect and actually adding some scripts to make things give the illusion that you're actually setting it on fire so thanks very much and if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers